Hello and welcome to Nirmal Bang, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Eva Tadia. We have with us Kunal Shah, head of commodities, please uh, joining in. Uh, Kunal, good evening and welcome to the show. Clearly, if you go to see the kind of rally that we are seeing in terms of bullion prices, uh, it's mainly on the back of the heightened risk sentiments that's on the back of US-China political tensions, the extension of the stimulus measure as well by Europe, and the U.S. amid this kind of sluggish recovery that we are seeing. Taking these factors into consideration, what's the sense that you have right now? Because clearly, silver has been outperforming gold. Okay, first of all, uh, my target of silver 65,000 is achieved today. 65,000 is something which I told everyone, I explained everyone why silver will outperform. Friday it did uh, saw some correction and again today morning we saw a gap of opening. Gap of opening. Uh, my overall view is still bullish. So what has changed during this week and why gold and silver are suddenly up today? So after infusing nine two point three trillion dollar in U.S. economy, now they are talking about four stimulus. So just imagine dollar index is right now already at ninety three point ninety. So when the rally of gold silver started at that time, gold dollar index was ninety eight. Today, it is at 93.90. So we have already seen uh, almost four pips, uh, 400 pips of uh, downside movement in the dollar index. So that is quite humongous. So like I told everyone, the dollar is going to lose its value. I don't know whether they are going to announce it today or not. But I think the sentiments are upbeat on account of that. So I still forced to say <clears throat> correction of 500, 600 rupees for silver will be a good buy. And gold also looks strong to me only. Already 1,000 rupees up, 200, 300 rupees correction, 51,700, it will be a good buy. I'm not expecting any major uh, sell-off or any major profit taking. There are no news of that. In fact, <clears throat> there are experts who are saying that there'll be another lockdown because a lot of uh, policymakers are saying in US that uh, the cases of the number of death in US in last three days have shot up uh, dramatically. So there is a very strong chance that they will be forced to impose one more lockdown. So if that all happens, that is also bullish for gold. So <clears throat> on one side, the jewelry demand is not coming. People are really scared. And since people are scared, it keeps on moving up. It, uh, every day we are seeing gap of opening. So uh, I don't know what is going to happen immediately, but I, I, I'm still of the view that I will have to review my target of silver from 65,000 to 68,000 perhaps because <clears throat> there is no reason for me to say this rally is over. So dollar index is weak. Fundamental of silver, the silver mine supply, whatever disruption we had, any of them are coming back? No. So global silver supply will be under pressure. ETFs are buying gold silver every day. So are they going to stop it? No. So there is basically no reason except only one or two reason that uh, there is a major built up of short positions, number one. And number two, that even if uh, the dollar index strengthens, it is not going to strengthen to 98. So I think gold and silver still looks good. And by the dips, I'm not expecting any major sell off and uh, the, the, the target looks up on me. Right. So Kunal, with this, you know, we meant, you mentioned about the weaker dollar. Now, amid this negative real rates, do you think that's something which will come ahead, support gold prices in the medium term? And the plunging yields will drive investors out of the dollar, which actually could go ahead and lower the opportunity uh, cost for buying gold? Yeah, so um, I'll simplify what you said for the viewers that uh, it's a carry. So whenever... The, any currency loses its value and you park uh, your money in a high yielding asset like gold, for example. So what happens is that people uh, sell the dollars and they buy commodities. So that is what is happening right now. So People are selling dollars and buying commodities. So yes, I vouch your view. Uh, gold also 52,500 to 52,600 can achieve in a day or two. Silver, like I said, you know, it looks up only. So not to sell, don't be tempted and to go positionally short considering the prices have shot up so much. So don't do that. Uh, the trend is not still bearish. Right. 
And similarly, if you see in terms of crude oil as well, that is slightly trading higher. You have uh, WTI, which is about that $41 per barrel. Uh, nearly 2% is the kind of gains that we saw last week. Now, again, do you think that the buy that's happening in oil as well has mainly been contributed from the weaker dollar index? And secondly, the overall strength in the commodities is something which is supporting crude oil prices along with the European Union announcing the stimulus package. Because if you talk about the US oil rates count as well, that's risen for the first time since March. Yeah, so oil, I'm not that very bullish from uh, these levels. So we have seen in last 15 days that 3,200 are the levels where, where, where it is not breaking. So every time we see oil going above 3,150, 3,170, and we see selling, 3,200 seems to be the stiff resistance for oil. And uh, even though we are seeing a bullish trend, so I'm not very bullish on oil at these levels also. So 3100 good levels to go short, 3140, 50, between the, that uh, you can keep a stop loss and again it can slide and test levels of 3040, 3030. Oil doesn't look that great but uh, like we all know that liquidity is tremendous but oil I am not expecting. About 3200 we can think about it but below that I am not very bullish. Right. And what's the sense that you have, especially with regards to base metals, because you're seeing an uptrend coming in with regards to nickel as well as copper. Uh, copper has been, however, slightly under pressure. Nickel, an interesting aspect that I noticed, uh, which did cause an up move, Canal was uh, after Goldman Sachs, you know, came ahead and increased its price outlook on Tesla after Elon Musk actually promised of a giant long term contract. Uh, with nickel mining companies and that's something probably which came out and gave support to nickel as well. Do you think there is any other reason why we're seeing this kind of an up move? Uh, last week I clearly told that nickel prices have corrected from 1040 to 1000. It's a great buying opportunity and it is already at 1040. I'm expecting it to go up to 1050-55. So I'm bullish mm -hmm. and uh, metals I'm overall copper, nickel, these two metals I'm very bullish. Third will be zinc, fourth will be lead and aluminum. Fundamentals are not at all bullish. So I'm not talking about aluminum at all. So uh, copper and nickel in particular looks very good. So in copper, there is a very interesting thing which is going on in uh, MCX. The near month contract is trading at 513 and the far month contract is trading at 504. So this term structure basically indicates that there is no bullish trend going forward in uh, the next month. But I would say in a bull market, if copper prices, uh, the, uh, there is a backwardation of 5-7 rupees, then it could be a buying opportunity. So I will recommend to buy copper farming contract at 504. Upside target will be packed at 510 and stop loss should be placed below 499 or uh, below that. So I'm positive on both these metrics and I expect them to move on. So right. if you want to uh, in fact, short something, if you want to short in metals, you can remain short in aluminum. Okay. So yeah. there'll be there could be a short call that could be initiated on aluminum. In fact, in terms of queries as well, uh, you've already mentioned about uh, silver. So I think Jitendra Agarwal's queries answer on that. Uh, what's your view in terms of gold for the upcoming session, Kunal? Yeah, so there are questions that why there is no correction. Why you want correction? Because have you missed out on the long going long opportunity? That's why it is our mindset. Since we missed out, we did not buy silver. For example, if somebody didn't buy silver at fifty thousand, and it is a sixty five thousand, so you, if you don't, if you not buy it, then the, if you not bought it, then definitely you will wait for that. It should go down. It should go down. It doesn't work like that. In commodity, wherever there is shortage, so in shortage, the uh, forecasting price is very difficult uh, on the upside. I cannot say that silver will be only 65, 70. It can go to 75, it can go to 80. I'm not saying it will, but it can because there is a shortage. When the production of a commodity declines and the investment demand shoots up, what happens? There is a classic example. What happened in Goa City in Agri uh, a couple of years back from 20 to 200? Why? Because shortage doesn't have a price. You cannot quantify how much price will be. If shortage of 10, 20, 30% of their in commodity in oil, uh, in silver, for example, 
the surplus uh, the deficit is uh, uh, very high so uh, i think it will go up ek minute right? so that yeah sorry right the second question is with regards to your view in gold for the upcoming session so gold is already 1000 rupees up uh, and uh, i would say uh, 150 to 200 rupees correction and it's again a buy so don't go short i clearly say 52300 400 is very much likely in today's tomorrow's uh, trading session so i vouch to go long uh, for anyone everyone so many participants have registered today i'm very glad uh, for anyone went to short gold please keep a close eye on dollar index so if today evening session dollar index rises from 9390 to 9430 9425 don't even call me that's the time you sell gold so keep a close eye on dollar index it is there on net dania forex factory you will freely get it the the quotes of dollar index so have a live dollar index quotes for all the evening so if the dollar index starts trending or if start weakening i think it, it is following 90% correlation with the dollar index right now so for the momentum traders or somebody who wants to capture 100 100 200 rupees moment keep a close eye on dollar index and it will guide you any sharp increase then only you go sell otherwise it is buy right so that's the word coming in with regards to a Uh, how one should be keeping a close eye with regards to where the dollar index is concerned to see what could be happening overall in the commodity market. So these are the three questions or queries uh, that we had. Kunal, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you, viewers. Thank you for coming to this kind of participation as well. Yeah. So I will uh, also make presentations. Please, everyone, do join on every alternate days. You will get a lot of value, and I'm very happy that so many people have joined. Thanks. Thank you. Thank uh... you.